Hello guys, it's the Russian Genius and in this video I want to teach you a one-handed triple cut which is very nice and I have never seen magicians do this cut. The only magician that I have seen do this cut it is Andrew Tjik. I have never seen any other magician do this one-handed triple cut. A one-handed triple cut it is normally just separating the packets into three piles in the hand. And there are a lot of different advanced triple cuts, like this for instance, like this is one of the harder triple cuts, which we are not going to be learning today, sorry for that, let me try this one more time. Now this is one of the more advanced triple cuts, and also this one, this is quite popular on YouTube, sometimes I like to do it like this where I get into that and then I do one more right after that. That is just quite nice to do and that's something that I do sometimes when I'm performing to show the skill level with a deck of cards. Now the triple cut that I am going to be teaching you, I learned this on Genesis Volume 1, I think it was, by Andrew Tjik. So that is why Andrew Tjik, he is the only magician I have seen that does this move. Now the move, it looks just like this, so one handed triple cut, just like that. This is a very nice cut which a lot of magicians and spectators they get impressed of, because it looks nice and you are separating the packets into three piles and that is very nice in my opinion. But anyways, here is the tutorial for the move. If you can do the one-handed cut, or as known as Charlier cut, I think it's called, then you can do this move quite easily. So the idea is that you need to learn this before you can do the one-handed triple cut. And this is a very known cut in magic and cardistry as well. And what you're doing is you're lifting up the top packet I'm dropping cards right now, this is very difficult to film from this angle. You are holding the packet and you're doing this, but in the action you're doing the Charlie Air Cut. If you don't know how to do the Charlie Air Cut, then you can check out my tutorial in the link in the description. It is a very easy move to do. Um, a little backstory. A few years ago I dated a girl and I showed her some magic tricks and stuff and I taught her the one-handed cut in about 7 minutes. Now you're going to be doing the one-hand cut and you are going to cut the third of the deck. And it is because you're making three piles, so you cut the third of the deck and your first finger is taking it upwards. Now your thumb, once the bottom packet clears, as you can see, this packet on the bottom, it has just cleared the edge of the top packet. As you can see, it has cleared the edge of the top packet. Now your thumb is going to put pressure on top on the top packet and you're going to try to release a pressure on the bottom of the top packet. And how you do it, you're going to bend this packet right here. So when you're bending the packet, as you can see, I am bending the packet. I don't know if you can see it, but I am bending this packet at the moment. And when I'm bending this packet, then I am using my thumb to cut the top packet into two pieces. Just like that. Now, when done in speed, this looks very good. Just like that, as you can see. Just like this. Now, once again, once it clears the packet, as you can see, my thumb is actually taking half of the top packet, and that way the bottom half of the top packet falls down, if it makes any sense. Now, just like that. A good way to practice this is try to cut about four or five cards of the bottom and then doing it. That is a very good way of starting out and learning how to do it. For example, I cannot do the cut if I have more than half of the deck, then it becomes really difficult and I cannot do the cut if I have more than half of the deck. So that is why it is a good idea to cut less cards the first time. And what you are doing is you're just doing this. 
So if you can if you can do this with your thumb, then you can do the move because look, take a card, place it in this type of grip and then just do that. You can do it. If you can do this move, just take the packet into two halves, then you can also do it if you have one card. Because one card, it can bend very much and you can use it as the starting point to learn the move. And that is what I did to learn the move and it is a wonderful move in my opinion, I like it a lot. I use it when I perform very many times just to impress the audience a little bit after the show. I do not do this before the show or in the middle of my tricks, it is because when I do magic tricks, I want to be skillful, but in a secret way, so the spectator does not know that I can do fancy stuff with the deck. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and make sure to check my Instagram out. I just made Instagram a few months ago. I post a lot of great pictures and videos and sleight of hand and stuff like that. So make sure to check it out if you want to. I have a lot of videos and pictures, and... There's going to be a link in the comments and also in the description to where you can check out my Instagram if you want to check it out. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and see you in my next video.